What's up guys, I'm super excited for today. It's about 10.30 in the morning and I'm just about to go meet another creator. His name's Harry. He's gonna join me for the day and we're gonna go check out some awesome spots to show you guys. So let's get going. Walking downstairs now, I'm trying to find Harry. He didn't have no Wi-Fi where he was, so I'm trying to actually get to him now. Hopefully, I'll find him. All right, so I'm just with Harry now, and we're about to make our way to the desert. It's going to be a sick location. Have you been there before, Harry? No, I've never been there. I didn't even know where it was, anything about it. So I'm really excited to go and check it out. Um, Wicked. Yeah. Wicked. So see you guys in about an hour. So after driving an hour into the desert, we finally made it to this incredible place. I'm not sure if they'll let us in because a lot of places, as a lot of people in Dubai will know, it's not very easy to get let in to take photos in these places, but we're about to find out. Let's check it out. So guys, can you believe it? This place is actually closed today, but when they saw me and Harry with the cameras, they said they're gonna give us exclusive access to view this whole place today. So can't wait to show you how sick this place looks. just inside the museum now and they're showing us all the historic ways that batteries used to be made old computers generators you name it and it goes all the way back to the 1800s so what you see in this place is absolutely incredible Dubai is truly leading the way to solar energy. Currently they have 50% of the city covered by solar energy and the plan is by 2030 to have 100% covered by solar energy. Absolutely amazing. That's the solar park officially complete. It's time to go check out our next location for another cool place to shoot. What's up guys, just made it to another photo location. This is the museum of the future. You can just see it behind me. Oh, what's up guys, so I'm just showing you how to bend down so I can show you the Emirates Towers. And these two towers are basically the towers where the ruler of Dubai works, right on top up there. Super, super cool tower, super futuristic, as you can imagine it always being Dubai and especially the ruler of Dubai working there it has to be one of the sickest towers in Dubai. Guys, so I finally made it to a place called DIFC. It's one of the sickest places in Dubai. It stands for Dubai International Financial District. Usually this place is packed because it's full of offices and it's a workspace type of area where obviously you've got people, type of law firms, financial companies, but obviously it's kind of dead right now because it's Thursday night, it's basically the weekend. So I've got plenty of room to uh, show you guys some cool places and uh, shoots to do around this area. So 
guys I'm just having a break because all this walking in this heat can really take out of you so I recommend if you ever do come to Dubai and you kind of want to do this type of photo shoot by walking and shooting basically running and gunning you want to be making sure you come between the months of I'd say from December to March well actually no sorry I'd say December to February because you're going to get the best weather it's going to be nice and cool and you're not going to get too caught up with this hot humid weather because it does start getting super super humid so we just made it to my favorite location grand mosque and difc And whatever you do, make sure if you do come to this area, you do get some type of permission. It's free to do so. You just have to contact DIFC online and just let them know you want to come and take some photos. Just because they are quite strict here in Dubai when you do any type of photography, because paparazzi is not actually allowed in the UAE. So as you can imagine, they're quite strict with it. So make sure you get some permission before you come so you don't run into any issues. Time to get some sleep as I'll be heading to one of the most iconic locations in Dubai to take photos for sunrise. After seven years of living in the UAE and Dubai, I finally made it to Shangri-La Hotel, which has the most iconic, iconic spot for photography. Can't wait to show you guys when I get to the top. It only took me seven years to get up to the Shangri-La Hotel and what an epic place it is with my friend Matt who finally made it and here it is. And that's a wrap guys, thank you so much for watching another one of my YouTube videos. I hope you guys enjoyed all these spots. I'll put all the locations down below in the description so you guys are able to come for yourself. If there's any other places you guys want me to explore and showcase, feel free just to drop them in the comments below. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed it, leave a like and subscribe and I can't wait to see you all on the next one. Peace out.